Qigong is a once secret ancient Chinese art and science that cures diseases, improves your health, strengthens your body and spirit, prolongs and improves the quality of your life, and teaches ways to gain in-depth knowledge of the world. The word Qigong consists of two Chinese characters which lack correlatives in European languages. Qi is understood as the invisible energy source of the universe, known by every important Eastern exercise system, such as prana in Indian yoga and qi in Japan. It comprises of three components, the substantial, the energetic, and the informational. Gong means work that is required to manage the energy qi. There exist a number of qigong branches and schools. The practice methods are different because of different aims. Taoist, Confucian, Buddhist, medical or healing, and martial. Some of them have, diff have been practiced for 1,500 to 3,000 years, while the others date back to 5,000 years. Zhongyuan qigong, the oldest among known qigong systems, is more than 7,000 years old and occupies a prominent place in this ensemble. It's been kept highly secretive for ages and has been gradually unveiled to the public only recently. Zhongyuan Qigong was born where the original Chinese people were first found, a valley named Zhongyuan, which means the central original plain of China. Legend has it that the valley was where the first Chinese people found a giant tortoise on the bank of Huanghe, the Yellow River. The shell of the turtle was covered with pictures and symbols of the earth, the universe, humankind, and ways of self-regulation and development. Stone monuments of these gigantic turtles with letters and symbols resembling the foundation of Chinese philosophy exist in almost every Chinese temple. Where then did the knowledge on the tortoise shell come from? Another legend has it that the Chinese are descendants of dragons, whom through cultivation and development have managed to achieve enormous heights and left for another world, leaving the knowledge to successors. That is why Chinese people respect dragons as they do with giant turtles. Dragons can be found everywhere, on pillars beside tortoise monuments, on top of house roofs, on walls, in modern buildings, recreational zones, and parks. You may ask, are the legends true? The answers lie in your own cultivation in becoming whole learning to manage your own energy and consciousness and entering the path of spiritual and mental evolution.